Hi, and welcome to another edition of Data with Dylan. I'm Dylan Steigerwald, the epidemiologist for the Jefferson County Health Department. And today we're going to be looking at the week 25 COVID-19 surveillance report for Jefferson County. Looking at our summary, during week 25, we had a total of 33 confirmed and probable COVID-19 cases reported in Jefferson County. And that brings us to a year-to-date total of 460 confirmed and probable cases. We had one additional death, COVID-19 associated death reported in week 25, which brings us to a total of 21 COVID-19 associated deaths. And we still are at six outbreaks of COVID-19 that have been reported in our long-term care facilities or nursing homes. Going down to table one, we have the number of confirmed and probable COVID-19 cases by week. And we can see there for week 25, we added 33 cases, which brought us the, up to our total of 460. Um, that was more than double of the number of reported cases in the previous week, um, a percent change of 135%. A lot of our trends and stats this week kind of remained the same. If we look at figure three, our confirmed and probable COVID-19 cases um, and our age adjusted case rates, those all pretty much stayed pretty steady from last week and the week before that. Um, we still have the highest rate of cases in our 80 plus age group. And again, that's because we have a lot of cases around 40% of our cases are in our long-term care facilities where more people of that age group tend to be located. We see kind of the same trends for our hospitalizations and fatalities, our figure four and figure five, with our highest rates of hospitalizations and deaths within our older age groups, our 60 to 69, 70 to 79, and 80 plus age groups. Looking at table two, our approximate COVID-19 cumulative fatality rates, we decreased a little bit again from last week. And as I had pointed out, I expect that number to kind of keep decreasing as we have more tests done in the county. Looking at figure six, our COVID-19 cases by sex in Jefferson County, we still see that females have quite a larger portion of the cases than males. And last week I had pointed out, if we look at that excluding our long-term care facility cases, we see more of an even split. And so in Jefferson County, where we know our population is about an even split 50-50 between males and females, the reason for that might be because we have more females in our long-term care facilities where we've had a large portion of our cases and females live longer. So when we exclude those long-term care facility cases, the split looks more even. Figure seven, our COVID-19 PCR test results by week. We see that in week 25, we did have an increase in the percent positive. In week 25, we had a total of 27 positive PCR tests out of 840 total tests done, which gave us a percent positive of 3.2%. Table four, COVID-19 cases by race. We have our rate there too. We still see that even though the majority of our cases have been in our white population, the case rate is actually highest in our black population. Looking at figure nine, our COVID-19 cases by zip code. This has remained relatively stable across these zip codes here. We still see that our Festus area 63028 by far has the most cases and that's because we've had a couple of long-term care facility outbreaks in that zip code which accounted for the majority of cases in that zip code. And then if we look at figure 10, COVID-19 cases by zip code per 10,000 residents, we see the rate for each of the zip codes. And um, one thing I did notice from the last couple of weeks is uh, those rates have been fairly steady in most zip codes. We did uh, show an increase the last two weeks in our 63070 zip code, which is right above Festus. So we're kind of starting to see more cases around that area in our zip codes, kind of along the Mississippi River. 
if we look at our number of confirmed and probable cases, um, excluding long-term care facility cases, we saw that during week 25, we only had one long-term care facility associated case. So 32 of our 33 cases came from our general population. Um, looking at the COVID-19 cumulative fatality rate, excluding long-term care facilities, we see that that drops pretty dramatically to around 2% in Jefferson County if we exclude those cases in long-term care facilities. And that's what we would expect. We see more complications and hospitalizations and fatalities within our older age groups, which tend to congregate in our long-term care facilities. And that's been another episode of Data with Dylan. Stay safe, Jefferson County. <laughs>